What's up everybody, Dante here doing a video about what's the best camera for YouTube if you're doing a YouTube channel. Depending on what kind of channel you're going to have because in the long run if you are uh, doing let's say a hair channel, you really you want the best camera because you want to show the best quality that the video can do when you're doing like a hair or makeup type of video. But what if you're just doing like a vlog type of channel where you can just use a compact camera to go about your day and just kind of do your uh, whatever you're trying, whatever your vlog may be about, your personal life or your work life or anything like that. So you want to kind of get the best quality that you can when it comes to the camera and the type of situation that you're going to be using it for. Now, when I first started, I had a camcorder. I had a Sony camcorder. It was cool. It got video in 1080p. It did the job for the most part. It gave me a little bit of something, something that I wanted. You know what I mean? It wasn't the best, but it, it got me started. It was my, you know what I mean? It got my feet wet type of thing. So. Then I got me a webcam from my computer and it was good like if I just wanted to do a direct video about some information that I seen on the internet or found on the internet or something I saw out there on the streets or something like that I just felt interesting to put out there. I just usually just put it up on YouTube real quick and just kind of make a real quick video of you know that type of information. But as I invested more and more time on YouTube and just trying to get the best quality I can out of my videos, I invested in DSLRs and like high end compact cameras that just give you the best quality that, they, that is close to a DSLR but not exactly on DSLR, DSLR level. So so this is my little video about that. So if you're doing a tech channel, let's say, and you want to get the best quality that you can, I recommend a DSLR. But one of the things about DSLR, you really should use the interchangeable lenses that a DSLR come with. Now the first kit, the first lens that you get is an 18 by 55 millimeter lens. Depending on which one you get, you get the 18 by 135 as well. but it's you want to get the best quality that you can so the kit lens that it comes with most of the time is they, they call it the throwaway, throwaway lens that, that's what a photographer called it he called it the throwaway lens so he said just that's to get you started get your little feel for it but you want to start investing in better lenses so if you're going to get a DSLR you got to invest in the interchangeable lenses that you're going to use but if you're doing something like a vlog channel or a hair channel or a makeup channel you probably could just use a nice, real good, high-end, compact camera like a little uh, a Sony RX100 or one of those, I forgot the name of but the Canon F15 or something like that, I forgot the name of But those cameras are just as good for doing those type of videos. Now, like I said, if you're doing a lot of vlog stuff or something like that, you really wouldn't want a compact camera as well. Like, it all depends on what you're trying to do with your channel. Like, some people may do a fitness channel, like I do fitness as well. Now, like I said, DSLR can get you the best quality out there, but if you just got... Let's just say it's you and somebody, a friend of yours that's going to the gym and you're trying to do a workout. You can get a nice compact camera to do the same thing. So it's depending on what you're trying to use your camera for. Like I definitely recommend DSLR so you get the best cinematic quality when it comes to video with a DSLR. Now they got the Sony RX100 that's quality is just as good as DLR, but it's not as good, but it's almost up there as a DSLR. So that's one of the advantages that you can get with some of these compact cameras nowadays. So you definitely want to see what kind of camera works for you and what you're trying to do with your YouTube channel. You could be just doing a a tech channel that's just mostly vlog where you talk about tech a lot and just present some information and things like that or things that interest you. You know, I mean, you could probably get a nice camcorder. You know, I mean, do the same thing. So definitely want to look into what camera fits for you and what you're trying to do with a camera on your YouTube channel or whatever you're trying to use a camera for. If you're just using the photography. Everybody, uses, every photographer I know uses a DSLR because it just gives you the best quality. It's coming image quality and video quality when it comes to things like that. But this is a quick little video I just wanted to make about cameras because I was thinking about it. I got all these cameras now because when I first started I only had one. So I just wanted to talk about cameras and kind of advancements I had made during the course of this two years I've been on YouTube about some of the cameras I've learned and some of the information I've learned over the years. Just seeing which gave me the best video and image quality when it comes so I just want to know what you guys think of cameras in general and what you think is the best camera for your YouTube channel, whatever you're trying to do. So yeah, like I said, it could be anything. So let me know in the comment section below. And let, me, let, let it all out when it comes to the comments. Let me know how you feel about the situation. Do you even really care about what kind of camera you get? But let me know in the comment section. And thank you guys for watching. Also, hit that like button down below. It helps out a lot. And if you want to get some more information about cameras, all kinds of other reviews on tech and some fitness stuff, Hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video.